Hi, I'm Mackenzie Costin. I'm a research associate at the Allen Institute for Cell Science on the microscopy team. Today, we're going to show you our automated tissue culture platform. We've developed this platform to seed, passage, feed, and maintain the Allen Institute for Cell Science HIPSC lines. We'll start by showing the matrigel coating of plates, the dissociation of a source plate, seeding onto glass assay plates and plastic expansion plates, and finally end with the automated feeding and imaging of plates. Important to note, we use six well plates for cell expansion and 96 glass bottom plates for imaging assay plates. Our system contains three main workflows, one plate maintenance, two passaging, and three matrigel coating, each with a unique and customizable set of methods. All of these workflows will be shown today. Apart from our Hamilton Microlab Star Robotics platform, we have several crucial elements. The first is an eight channel arm. Two of these channels also work with core grippers to pick up and move reagents around the deck. We also have an eye swap for movement of components around the deck. We have an integrated Thermo Fisher Cytomat 24, which is a 37 degree Celsius incubator. We also have a Thermo Fisher Cytomat 6002, which is a four degree Celsius refrigerator. Both have plate shuttle systems to move plates and reservoirs from the refrigerator and incubator onto the deck. We also have CPAC heating and cooling modules as well as tilt modules to tilt plates. We also have an Agilent V-spin centrifuge and a Soligo imaging cytometer. Note that all of these methods are directly comparable to the manual cell culture methods developed by the Allen Institute for Cell Science. Please refer to these existing methods for more information and refer to our soon to be published manuscript detailing the automated cell culture methods in detail. This video tutorial and our manuscript are meant to work in tandem to help demonstrate our methods and workflow. In our daily operations, when we have existing plates that have already been seeded, we start our pipeline with plate maintenance, so media changes and automated Soligo imaging, early in the morning prior to operators coming into the lab. If it's a passaging day, we then continue on to the passaging workflow, followed by the matrigel workflow, so new plates can be coded for the following days. Here we explain the workflows in a different order to stimulate how you might get started in a pipeline. So we start with our matrigel coding method, then continue on to the passaging workflow and we'll finish with the plate maintenance workflow. Again, these workflows and associated methods are flexible and customizable and can be run in any order deemed suitable for your needs. So we begin with our matrigel coding workflow. In order to ensure proper cell adhesion to our plates, we coat them with a matrigel matrix. Within this workflow, there are three unique methods. The first method of the workflow is the manual preparation of the matrigel, which, which consists of aliquoting matrigel into one side of a two well reservoir and storing it at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Before we start the automated method, we put chilled DMM F12 into the empty well of the two well reservoir, and we then move this reservoir into the cytomat 6002 to thaw for one to two hours before the method. The second method of this workflow is the coating of the 96 well plates. The 96 well glass bottom plates, which are stored in the Cytomat 6002, are brought to the CPAC, cooled to four degrees Celsius. The plates are then delitted, six tips are picked up, and they aspirate one milliliter each of diluted matrigel. This matrigel is then dispensed 100 microliters at a time per well across the entire plate so that we coat 60 wells of the 96 well plate. Tips are discarded, the plate is relitted, and returned to the Cytomat 6002 for storage. This process repeats for any number of 96 well plates. The third method of this workflow is the coating of the six well plates. These six well plastic plates are also stored in our Cytomat 6002. They're brought onto the CPAC heating cooling element, cooled to four degrees Celsius. The plates are delitted, four tips are picked up this time, and aspirate 750 microliters of matrigel each. The matrigel is then dispensed using two tips per well, such that a total of one and a half milliliters of matrigel is dispensed into each well of the six well plate. This repeats so that the entire well of the entire plate is coated. The tips are then discarded, the plate is relitted, and then returned to the cytomat 6002. 
After the coating of all the plates is finished, the two well reservoir is relitted and discarded, ending the matrigel coating method. The next workflow is the passage workflow, which consists of eight different methods, all of which can be run separately or mixed around. Crucial to this method is the use of a 24 bottom reaction microplate. This microplate essentially takes the place of the 15 milliliter centrifugation tubes used for cell collection and centrifugation. This allows us to passage six cell lines at one time. Outlined in this schematic is our organization of cell lines in six well plates, how that organization moves to the 24 well microplate for cell collection, centrifugation, and seeding cell preparation, and how this organization is maintained to seeding in 96 and six well plates. Acutase is placed onto a seed pack heating element, which is set to 37 degrees Celsius so that it can warm. The method then brings the selected plate for dissociation from the cytomat 24 onto the tilt module, where the plate is delitted and tilted to 10 degrees. The tips go to the lowest point in the well as it's tilted to ensure that cells are undisturbed and that all media is aspirated. To minimize dry well time, two milliliters of DPBS are then immediately added to the well. The old media is dispensed into the liquid waste and the process repeats until all wells have DPBS. The tilt module goes down to flat and then tilts back up to wash the surface of the well. After all wells have had the media replaced with two milliliters of DPBS per well, new tips are acquired, the plate is tilted again and all DPBS is removed from the wells and dispensed into the liquid waste. Meanwhile, the acutase has been warming on the CPAC and is now ready to be added to the six well plate for dissociation. New tips are picked up, the tilt module lowers the plate, acutase is aspirated, and one milliliter of acutase is dispensed into each well. The plate is then relitted and moved to the other CPAC, which is set to 37 degrees Celsius, where the plate can warm for four minutes, as counted by the method. After the six well plate has been warmed for four minutes, the plate is moved back to the tilt module and delitted. One milliliter of DPBS is then added to each well to dilute the acutase. The tilt module adjusts to 10 degrees in preparation for the trituration step. To triturate, two channels per well aspirate the DPBS, acutase, and cell suspension mixture at the lowest point in the well. The tilt module is then lowered and the channels dispense at four different locations in the well shown in the schematic. After the cells are dissociated from the well, the single cell suspension is aspirated from the lowest point at the tilted well and transferred to the corresponding wells in row D of the 24 well microplate using one tip per well. To collect any remaining cells, one milliliter of DPBS is then added to each well of the six well plate, aspirated and transferred to the 24 well microplate. Each well of row D now has eight milliliters of acutase, DPBS and cell suspension the 24 well microplate is then relitted and moved to the centrifuge loader. The supernatant now must be aspirated from the 24 well microplate at distinct locations to ensure the cell pellet is not disturbed. After this, new tips aspirate MTZER plus ROC inhibitor and 2.2 milliliters are added per well of row D to resuspend the pellets. The specific locations for this mix and resuspension can be seen in this diagram. The method then collects 200 microliters of cell suspension from each well and dispenses it into a vice cell counting tube inserted into another 24 well microplate. The operator can then take these tubes for counting outside of the robotic platform manually. Once manual counting occurs, row C of the microplate is prepared with two milliliters of MT surplus rock inhibitor per well, while row B receives five milliliters of the operator then uses the cell count manually collected to determine the amount of cell resuspension to be added to row C and B for a seeding solution that will be the desired concentration for seeding. For proper seeding densities for different culture plates and passage lengths, please refer to our already published methods. The operator will then enter the correct volumes for the single cell suspension to be aspirated and adding to the respective seeding rows. The operator first enters volumes for the six well plates, then for the 96 well plates. 
The method will first aspirate from row D and dispense into row C for seeding the two six well plates, bringing the final volume per well to three milliliters. New tips are picked up and aspirate the specific volume of the cell suspension for the 96 well seeding solution. Cell suspension is then dispensed into row B, bringing the final volume per well to six milliliters, enough to seed the five 96 well plates. After the 24 mi well microplate is prepared with the seeding solutions, the pre major gel coated six well plates that have been incubating for two hours at 37 degrees Celsius are brought onto the tilt module. New tips are picked up and all major gel is removed, while one milliliter of MT0 plus rock inhibitor is added to each well. Plate is then lowered. New tips are picked up and the cell seeding solution from row C is mixed and then aspirated, 500 microliters per channel. The seeding solution is then added to particular locations within each well of the six well plate using two channels per well, such that 1000 microliters of cell suspension is added to each well. The plate is then lidded and picked up by core grippers. The plate is then rapidly moved around the deck, side to side, raised and lowered, to stimulate the manual shaking of a six well plate, done to disperse cells evenly across the surface. The plate is then returned to the Cytomat 24 and the process repeats for the other six well plate. Next, the 96 well plates are seated. The first of the pre-major gel coated 96 well plates that have been incubating for two plus hours at 37 degrees Celsius is brought onto the till module. All major gel is removed and then 50 microliters of m teaser plus rock inhibitor is added to each well. The plate is then lowered. Six new tips are retrieved and the cell seeding solution from row B is mixed and then aspirated, 1000 microliters per channel. The seeding solution is then added to a particular location within each well of the 96 well plate using one channel per well, such that each well gets 100 microliters of seeding solution. The plate is then lidded and returned to the Cytomat 24, and the process repeats for the other 96 well plates, one at a time until all five are seeded. At this point, the method is over and the 24 well microplate is discarded, along with the m teaser plus rock inhibitor solution, as this should be made fresh for every passage. This ends the passaging workflow. The next workflow is the plate maintenance workflow. Prior to the start of the automated method, the reservoirs containing media must be manually filled, lidded, and placed into the Cytomat 6002. After the media is prepared, the proper plates are updated in the feeding list. The method can then begin with the media retrieval from the Cytomat 6002 and placement onto the CPAC to warm at 30 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes. After the media is warmed, the reservoir is moved to a plate park position, delitted, and the first 96 well plate is retrieved from the Cytomat 24 to be fed. Six 300 microliter tips are then picked up. Three new tips aspirate the warmed media, and the three channels with empty tips aspirate old media. The plate is tilted such that these channels will aspirate old media from the lowest point of the tilted well. This is followed by an immediate dispense of 150 microliters of media per well. New tips are picked up and this process repeats for the entire plate. This happens two times per row for a total of 10 rows per plate. After the entire plate has had media changed, the plate is relitted, the media is also relitted, and the plate is returned to the Cytomat 24. This process repeats for any number of 96 well plates needing to be fed. Next, the six well plates are fed. Eight 1000 microliter tips are picked up. Four go to aspirate new media, and the other four tips aspirate old media from the lowest point of the tilted six well plate using two tips per well. Fresh media is immediately added to each well, totaling two mils per well, using two tips per well. New tips are then picked up and the process is repeated for the entire plate to total three rounds. After the entire plate is fed, the plate is relitted, media reservoir is relitted as well, and the plate is returned to the Cytomat 24. This process repeats for all of your six well plates. After all of the plates have been fed, there is an option to continue the automated method such that automated images will be captured using a Soligo imaging cytometer. Plates designated for imaging on the feeding list are called back to the tilt module one by one and transported to the Soligo for imaging. 
After imaging, they are stored back into the Cytomat 24. Finally, the media reservoir is returned to the Cytomat 6002 and the method ends. Today, we've taken you through our automated tissue culture platform from matrigel coating to passaging to seeding and feeding. We hope you can take this video and find inspiration and guidance for your automated cell culture projects. As always, refer to allencell.org for more information about our cells, our methods, and our data. Thank you.